Bitcoin dipped below $20,000 this week and risk sentiment has been annihilated. Find out more about that and what you can do about it in the Crypto Weekender in this video. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome to the World Series of Trading, the only place where you can make real money trading virtual funds. My name is Ron and I'm a pro trader on the platform. I've been trading for over seven years and I'm here to bring you expert market analysis. But before we get into it, I need to remind you that none of these videos constitute as financial advice or advice of any kind to take any position in any financial instrument. But without further ado, let's get into it. Hello, play traders and welcome to this market analysis for the 17th of June, 2022. Now, over the past few weeks, we've gotten a lot of developments on the economic front. And as a result, it's had a massive, massive impact on the risk assets. Right. So let's start off with inflation. The inflation picture looks like this. Over the past few months, we've been seeing U.S. inflation ticking up and up and up. But then we got a little bit of a dip in last month's inflation print. But this month, inflation hit the highest level that it's ever been since 1940 right and that essentially forced the federal reserve to increase interest rates by 75 basis points as opposed to the 50 basis points that they'd been talking about the entire time and the 50 basis points that we had been expecting for the rest of the year now that interest rate increase happened on wednesday and that essentially led to equity markets taking a major dive risk assets took a major dive and as we started to price in the risk of 75 basis points bitcoin dipped below twenty thousand dollars right so bitcoin dipping below twenty thousand dollars that's a low that we haven't seen since 2020 right um and 2020 i'm sure you'll remember was when we saw that huge bull run in bitcoin that took it from seventy thousand from twenty thousand dollars to basically seventy thousand dollars right we are currently sitting around about $21,000 on Bitcoin and what's going on with all the other risk assets will be key to finding out where Bitcoin is headed over the next few weeks. So I'm going to dive into the charts right now so that you have a look at what that looks like on a visual basis. So I'm just going to share my screen here and I hope you can see it now. So there's my MT5. And before we get on to Bitcoin, let's discuss risk, the main risk asset, which is the equities, right? So the S&P 500 has taken a major dive. As you can see, it's been in a downward trend for the better part of two weeks. OK, and we got a further. Ex we got some more downside this week, but then it wasn't as accelerated as the downside that we saw last week when we started to price in the potential for the Federal Reserve increasing by 75 basis points. OK, so with the S&P 500, as you can see, we've somewhat formed a bottom with this um, bullish engulfing. Right. And we're headed to the upside. And right now, although we've priced in, we've probably fully priced in 75 basis points, um, we are still at risk of a recession with the US economy. Right. Um, therefore, there's no potential that I see for us to get back to these highs right over here above um, 4100, right? But for the moment, we seem to be finding fair value right around these areas because of the less accelerated downside we've seen over the past few weeks. So I expect the S&P 500 to trade sideways between this um, 3600 level and 3800 that's the sideways range we're watching for the moment but right now i expect some kind of a bounce in risk um to take us back to the 3800 level on the s p 500 and we're probably going to get that within the few, next few trading sessions another important point to note is that today's um, it, um friday the 17th of june that's today is an option expiry date so you can expect some volatility in today's trading trading session. But what you usually find after an option expiry is that you get a major recovery in risk. And that's because of um, option sellers positioning themselves. Right. So 
I expect the S&P 500 to get back right around 3,800. And what does that mean for Bitcoin? Bitcoin, remember, is a risk asset. So it's correlated to whatever movements you get within the S&P 500 and other equity markets. Right. So Bitcoin right now, as you can see, is almost mirroring the S&P 500 in terms of the pattern that you're seeing here. In Bitcoin, we've got a double, a potential double bottom right over here. And we could see Bitcoin recover all the way up to the first target that I have in mind is about $23,000. But there is some potential for thirty-eight, um, sorry, for $28,000 right over here. Um, I wouldn't hold my breath for that. Um, let's just see how it reacts to $22,000. So for the crypto weekenders out there, I'd definitely be long Bitcoin and other crypto assets this weekend because this is looking like um, it's going to recover um, towards the weekend. It all depends on how much, um, how much of a recovery depends on how far we can get above 23,000. So that's my picture of Bitcoin. That's how you crypto weekenders want to play this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Now, if you like this video, please smash the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content just like it. And if you'd like to join in on the fun, we have a trading competition running right now. By the way, the prize pool for 2022 is well over a million dollars. So you do not want to miss out on the action. First link in the description if you want to join in on one of the trading competitions. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one.